Sonic Underground. Uh, Sonic uh, Underground. Uh, 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 ah! Crazy fangirl. Oh shit, kill it. Kill oh, it. I'll be safe up here. Whoa, what, what the fuck? Did a metal version of myself just... Right, just that kidnap, fango? Just kidnap some <laughs> shit that I don't right. like? Violently oh, right. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about this. Uh, oh, by the way, this, this level is completely unplayable in the original version. The hit detection is so bad. Oh yeah, you bounce off everything, but um, it's not hit detection I say, it's just bounce off fucking everything. <laughs> uh, the one thing that makes this level annoying is that um, the flippers in Sonic 2, when you jump onto a flipper in the um, casino night zone, I think, I probably got that wrong and have pissed off the entire internet now, um, but must get that invincibility. Love the invincibility music. But um, like in good. Sonic CD, when you stood on a flipper, you just stand still. Like it was just a warped sort of platform. In Sonic 2, you'd roll into a ball, and it'd work somewhat like how an actual flipper does in a pinball game. Yeah. This made Sonic CD so fucking unplayable. Especially for the boss of this zone. But, I don't know, I, I love this level, personally, because it was so hard, man. It's actually really hard in the... I've got the actual Sonic CD, and it's really hard, but it's really fun for that reason. It's challenging and really fucking confusing, and sometimes even aggravating. But yeah, that's what I like about it. Mm. Uh, it's probably. Oh, by the way, in the past, there's uh, like a hologram of Metal Sonic like stomping on little animals. It does nothing. It just makes it so that animals will start hopping around the zone. So don't bother. But um, <laughs> actually, if you go into the past, then every robot you run into will be like at its absolute hardest and sometimes it'll have a slightly different like attack pattern if you're in the present then it's you know average sonic game if you go into the future though if it's the bad future for the zone then the level design will be harder and i believe the enemies will be harder to dodge but if you go into the good future the level design is incredibly forgiving which i will be abusing later on in the playthrough and enemies won't be there at all. There's there were so many subtle differences, man. Hmm. Well, that's not subtle. I mean, that's a fuck. That's a fucking big difference, but still, like, uh, if you travel into the future, I know in the original version, if you traveled into like the future, then if you hit like start A B, then you'd restart the level, but you'd still be in the future. What? Yeah. Is that Ooh. supposed to be Chemical Plant in the background? No, doesn't sound anything like Chemical Plant. I uh, know, I mean like the actual background for the level. Oh, the background level. No, yeah, you see a lot of industrial zones in Sonic, mainly because, you know, the the theme is that Eggman's trying to, you know, make everything... You know, Sonic, Sonic's a dick, actually. Eggman's just trying to bring about the Industrial Revolution, and Sonic's like, no, fuck you, we can't have that. We can't have progress. <laughs> Eggman's just trying to get ahead in the world. Exactly, he's just trying to feed his family, and Sonic's just ruining that. Oh, I read one copy pasta that made me feel like such a douche. It was like Eggman was like exiled, so he created his own like utopia where like he tried to protect the animals by putting them in putting them in machines until he could like re-release them into the wild after he was finished. And Sonic was just this, like douche who was coming along saying no fuck you and destroying the robots and killing the animals at the same time. Oh God! Basically <laughs> ruining Eggman's dreams. Everything you oh God! Wrong. Everything you know is wrong. My life is a lie. No, would you like me to actually um, literally record Sonic 2 from the actual console or just on an emulator? Uh, either way. Probably on an emulator actually, because the recording device I have is not. It, it, uh, it's not. Not, not up the path. Not up the path. Yeah, it, it works. It works. I really. hate this part. Fucking slicer! Yeah, I remember this. Doesn't even have its fucking, like, hook things from Sonic 2. Hey, you know who we should make handle Sonic 1? Also, probably the hardest in the classic series? Okay. Jack! 
man. Good sure I can get more Chaos Emeralds than you can in the Flash Edition, Megan. <laughs> but you can't get them in the Flash Edition. <laughs> you can. So I just traveled into the bad future, realized I was in the bad future, and said, fuck that, and went back to the present. Because, fuck playing this level in the bad future. Past me, you could just go. Literally just to the right. Wait, so what's up with the different Plus futures? You're the uh, so basically, if you destroy the um, robot generator in the past, then it'll make a good future for the act, which is, has a better, like, easier level design in some places. Uh, or, but if you don't do that and you travel to the future, which you should never do that unless you feel like playing hard mode, then it, um, what do you call it? Then it, um, fuck, I forgot what I was saying. Then, like, the level design's often a lot tougher, and, yeah, it's all evil and shit. And in the evil future, you can actually see in, like, the structures and things, there'll be, like, Eggman statues in the background and shit like that. Oh, okay. Just little touches like that. Yeah, it is, it's pretty cool. I, I do like all the really subtle things about this game. Like, do you remember the, um, the anti-piracy thing on this uh, game, where if you detected a fake copy, it would, um, go onto that screen with all the fucking creepy Sonics? Uh, play that yeah, um, the music, I think the music it plays is the American boss music, actually. Because if you've heard the American boss music, then you know how fucking creepy it is. Like, yeah. This does not suit Eggman. Not at all. It's fucking creepy, and they're like, it's all like black backgrounds, like, the fun is unlimited at Sega Enterprises in Japanese. Mm. Even if you have the English version of the game, it's like, in Japanese. Just to creep you out even more. And then I realize that this is the end of the level and I don't have 50 rings, so I shit myself. Um, that, like, goal sign thing that you see, the screen will lock after you um, run past that, so, you know, don't run past it. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm surprised it took me this long to remember it, but um, new to Sonic's arsenal of moves is the super peel out, where if you hold up and basically it works exactly like the spin dash does, except you hold up. <laughs> and you don't go into a ball. I remember one of my favorite things I have for the actual Genesis I have is that turbo controller. <laughs> Just press a button, you literally press a button, you go into the fastest spin dash possible. Uh, and see, it's people like you that every like, old-school gamer hates in this universe. You're a save state fan. <laughs> no, I only used save states for Sonic 2, because that's yeah, final just, boss... It was a technicality thing. No, well, in Sonic 2, I used save states because that final boss is fucking difficult as all hell, and I would have gotten a game over otherwise. But in this game, I don't technically save state. I, I don't really technically use that controller to win, I just use it when I want to laugh at laugh at things, you know. I don't know. I can put on an arrow flash and I just leave it there and see how long I can actually laugh. Pretty damn long, actually. Arrow flash is a, um, it's a, um, bullet hell, isn't it? Um, where shit flies at you constantly. Yeah, and the yeah. screen's basically enveloped in, like, bullets yep. and you're all sort of Completely shitting yourself. Full. Yep. Uh, constantly. Considering I'm recording Castlevania right now, I might actually end up doing um, Tohovania, which is essentially, let's take Castlevania controls and put it into a is that a bullet hell game. Is that a Japanese mod? Uh, it's a Japanese fan game. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. It's fucking hard, that's what it is. All Japanese fan games are fucking hard. All of them. Hmm? Yeah. All of them! Yeah, but this one is ridiculous. I'll send you a video of it later. Like, god damn. Put like an annotation or something. Put a link to this. <laughs> uh, so now you've got beautiful mountains in the background and undeveloped land. Oh, is that like so I find actually funny how yeah, Sonic has like a super base in like which like you can see in the background kind of there, which I think is that it. He has like a yeah. massive super base with tails like making shit. 
And then, yeah, like, in the OVA, don't they? They have that? Yeah, like, Tails has a massive fucking base, and it's just, like, in the side of the mountains, like, oh, Eggman's destroying the fucking nature and shit. Well, you are too, fuck off. Yeah, but they're good. They're, they're, the, good guy. they're the good guys, don't you know? They're the competitors. <laughs> they must they're crush BP. the competition. They're BP. Oh, in, 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 for the investors. Insert in the clip from South Park. We're sorry. We're <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, do I fail this special stage? I can't remember if I do. It looks like I'm going to. I hope you do. Uh, unless I can get that blue thing in less than five seconds. Like a boss. Ugh. Um, actually, there is really nothing to say about this anymore. It's really getting tedious. These things. Yeah, are. these things are actually really boring. Um, this background is actually used in the. I believe it's a fan hack. I haven't played it in a while. Um, it looks like Mega the OBA. It looks like it's from the OBA because it looks yeah. like Tails. Yeah it, get, is super nice. it, yeah, it gets reused in the um, in the water level for Sonic Mega Mix, which doesn't really make sense. How can I see above land in the water? Makes perfect sense. If we follow Super Mario Galaxy logic and just assume that the entire planet's a giant ball, and then, you know, water doesn't obey physics in any way. The physics the planet, doesn't exist. The planet is the ball. Yeah, that's kind of how it works, Nick. Oh, the planet happens to be round, in case you didn't know that. Physics, how the fuck do they work? <laughs> check them. They might check themselves. <laughs> Did somebody say quantum physics? Oh, actually. Uh, I don't say anything bottom. about fucking quantum figures. I want to fuck it like a million fucking lectures on it. Quantum figures. Figures. Fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, so we're in the boss act now, and fuck this boss. Oh, I remember release. this. I remember this. This is why the original release is unplayable. No, I, I like. It's it is aggravating, but I've done it. Like it's this is the hardest one. But oh, by I've far. Done it. By far. Uh, but something I do like about the bosses in this game is that they're very gimmicky, in that they actually are very different. It's not just hit Eggman eight times and win. Yeah, you, you're doing exactly what... I don't see how this is any different from, like, the... it's better. I don't see how the PC version is better here now, because, like, this is exactly what I was doing. Yeah, but it takes me about half the amount of time it does on the, um, the, um, Mega CD version. Maybe that's just luck, I don't know, maybe you've just done it, maybe you're just getting used to it. Fucking come on, no, oh. it looks... It's, it's not even any easier, I mean, they fixed a lot of their hit detection, that was the main point of this re-release. I understand that. Like, they remastered all the audio, they fixed a lot of the glitches, but... This gap is so fucking small! Yeah, it is, man. And there's these fucking orb things that when you hit into them, your momentum completely switches into the opposite direction. I remember I had a tactic that didn't involve going through that gap somehow. I, I like it was a really weird twist, and I managed to get to that flipper there, but I managed to keep doing it until I finally just got up onto the top. Uh, fuck this boss! <laughs> no, I'm back at the bottom. Back up. Actually, speaking of the music, this is that music. Yeah, pretty now, isn't it? Yeah. This is the um the American boss music. Right, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. No, damn it! I'm just gonna so this, play... so this is what they play if they detected the pirate copy. Yeah. Like, yeah. And if, as if, soon as you hit Eggman once, you've essentially won. Well, not well, not if it detects like a pirate copy in game. It, if it detects a pirate copy, it will stop the entire game, display a really creepy screen, and then play that music. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys next time for more Sonic CD.